So, a long time ago, I made a chassis for an RC car out of Lego, uh, and that one was fine for like a first prototype, but now I've made one that's even better. That old one was gone, disassembled it for parts, here's this better one. So, going through the features of this one, it has similar features to the first one in terms of control. So you got independent suspension on all, uh, on all axles. And then it's, I had to add more springs here to make it stiffer because this one was considerably heavier than the last one. But where it differs from the last one is that instead of the last one, which had a single large motor powering just the rear axle, this has two coupled large motors, hard coupled together, driving an all-wheel drive drivetrain. So right here you have two large motors that are hard coupled together at the center, driving this larger gear here. And then in the bottom, you can see right there, the central differential right there that that larger gear drives and then going out to the differential at each axle right there. So it's a complete all-wheel drive drive train. There we go. And then up here we have the servo motor for steering, uh, the, the front, front wheel steering only. And then it also has lights, LEDs at the front. So now I have the Boo is 2.0 unit powering it, and I can show you the functions with the just the standard control profile. So there's drive, right? There's drive, you can see the rear wheel drive, and then as well as the front wheel drive, you can see fully all wheel drive, and then there's also the steering with the steering wheel that turns as the wheels turn, and then there's also LED lights in the front. You can also increase the voltage going to the motors with this battery box here, so you can make it go that's about as fast as it goes, so it's pretty fast. Um, and then other features, if you pull this red pin out all the way, that engages neutral, so now it's in neutral, which is pretty useful actually for like rolling it around. If you just want to roll it around without having to use the motors, that's in neutral. Uh, and then the seats are pretty cool because they're bucket seats, right, and they can tilt, each one can tilt. The headrest can tilt, and each one can also slide back and forth. And so, also as opposed to the first iteration, this one has a lot more body on it. I wanted to have some body, and so, just to get the general look done, I, I did not have enough pieces to make more than this, but I think this gets a cool point across. So, looking from the top, you can see this side rail goes in and then slightly out towards the back. So the front here, um, was pretty interesting to design. It uses a combination of just normal Lego bricks as well as Technic pieces. And you can see the LED lights in the front there. I think it'll turn out pretty well. And then that's supposed to be like the logo, I guess. It's like an hourglass. I thought it looks pretty cool. And so that's pretty much all the features of this new model. And I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Uh, lots of you know, improvements over the last one in terms of like power and performance and also styling, you know, I actually have like an interior going, I got some like interior details right here, the seats that move all the different ways, the steering wheel that actually turns when you steer the car, 